So far, we've learned about several sexually transmitted infections that are curable, but are there any that aren't curable? In this video, we'll learn about herpes. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, where we learn about common medical topics so you can take control of your health. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get started. Most sexually transmitted infections are curable. You become infected, you take some medication, and you're cured. But some infections aren't that easy, specifically ones caused by viruses. Herpes is one of those infections that can't be cured. This video will explain why and how to manage it. The infection that we call herpes is caused by the herpes virus. There are actually eight types of herpes virus. Each presents in a different way and causes a different disease. The first two are called herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. Both can cause cold sores on the lips and genital lesions. This video will focus on herpes simplex virus 2, which is the most common cause of genital lesions. It is transmitted almost exclusively by sexual contact. This includes physical contact with genitals and oral and genital fluids, such as during vaginal, anal, and oral sex. Like other sexually transmitted infections, only abstinence can prevent infection. But if you become sexually active, you can still protect yourself with these steps to reduce the risk. The most important is to use internal or external condoms correctly every time because other birth control methods do not protect against STIs. Next, discuss STIs with your partners and get tested before intercourse. And third, enter an exclusive relationship with your partners after testing and confirming no one has STIs. As we'll learn in a moment, the main symptom is genital lesions. Although the virus can be transmitted at any time, people are most contagious from the time they start to feel a lesion coming to after the lesion has appeared, dried up, and has a crusty scab. So if you engage in sexual activity with someone with herpes, the safest time is when they don't have lesions. The symptom that herpes is known for is small blisters on the genitals. After they appear, they break open and leave red, painful ulcers. It is possible to tell when a lesion is starting because you may feel burning or tingling in the area hours to days before it appears. The initial infection can be more severe with symptoms lasting weeks, including a flu-like illness with fever, headache, and fatigue. It is also possible to have genital discharge and it can be painful to urinate if the lesions involve the urethra or bladder. Unless someone is immunocompromised, meaning their immune system is weakened, there is low risk for long-term complications from genital herpes. It does, however, increase the risk of HIV infection. It can also be transmitted to a baby during delivery, which can have severe consequences for them, including death. There is currently no cure for herpes. Once infected, it hides in the nerve cells and goes dormant. It stays there forever, but periodically wakes up to cause an outbreak of lesions. This usually occurs in times of stress and other illness. The main medications for treatment are called acyclovir and valacyclovir. They help to reduce the number of times lesions occur, the length of time that lesions are present, and the symptoms. Outbreaks also become less frequent and shorter in duration, naturally with time. Once you are infected, you have it for life, so it becomes more about managing outbreaks when they occur. Stay tuned for future videos where we learn about the other types of herpes virus and other viral sexually transmitted infections. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.